Hey guys, we're doing our second flip classroom of the day today, talking about DNA uh, replication. And before we begin, we want to review a little bit about the structure of DNA, because reviewing the structure will help us figure out um, how easy it is to replicate. So um, taking a look at the image here, if the inside of the DNA molecule is made up of nitrogen bases, adenine, cytosine, thymine, and guanine, and those nitrogen bases always pair um, with their complement, take a second to think if you were going to figure out a way to replicate DNA, how you might do that. Take a moment, um, record your response, and then we'll move on. Okay guys, so what do you think? Did you figure out the way the DNA replicates? Let's take a look. So remember that you have complementary base pairs in the middle of the DNA molecule, and adenine is always going to pair up with thymine, and cytosine always pairs up with guanine. So um, these base pairs are held in the middle by weak hydrogen bonds. So if you can somehow break the bonds and rip the molecule apart, then anywhere you have an exposed adenine, you can put a thymine, or anywhere you have an exposed guanine, you can put a cytosine. And Mrs. Childers, if I could add something real quick, the way that I always remember how these pair up is my friend GCAT. Guanine and cytosine always go together, and adenine and thymine always go together. G-cat, or gangster cat, as I like to call him, oh. is my way of remembering how these always pair up. You guys should say that a lot. Okay, good, good. G-cat, gangster cat, okay. So um, in DNA replication, we want to make sure that what we're doing is we're taking one original DNA molecule, and we're creating two identical molecules to the original. So the first thing that's going to happen to make these two identical molecules is you're going to take the strand of DNA and a special enzyme is going to break those hydrogen bonds. And this is a really, you know, simple drawing that I made myself on PowerPoint and you just open up uh, the hydrogen bonds with the helicase enzyme. And this would actually be happening um, at multiple points along in the DNA and at both sides. So it's not really like a zipper as shown here. It's more kind of like it's happening all along the DNA. So here you go. Um, you have it again. You can record this part in your notes that um, helicase unzips, happens on multiple points in the DNA molecule. Once those hydrogen bonds are unbroken, then we can talk about what happens next. And so continuing with DNA replication, uh, DNA polymerase is an enzyme that attaches the correct nucleotides to match the exposed pairs. So our helicase has unzipped or kind of broken apart the DNA strand. And polymerase is another enzyme that's now going to add the correct complementary matching base pair to the opposite strands of DNA. So you can see in our picture here we've got helicases unzipping or breaking apart the DNA strand, and polymerase is adding uh, appropriate matching co or complementary base pairs to each side of the DNA as the heel case is moving forward. And so this is all happening at the same time and at multiple different locations in the strand of DNA, as Mrs. Childers said. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you guys, is that um, it's not like adenine is just floating around. It's actually a nucleotide, and polymerase is kind of like the glue that puts the nucleotide together. Remember, you have all those repeating Legos that um, form together to create one long molecule of DNA. So here you have nucleotide monomers that are forming a larger polymer. And so a mistake in just one of those base pairs is actually mutation. We're going to spend some time talking about mutations a little bit later on in the unit. Um, DNA polymerase can correct some of these mistakes. Sometimes a few of them will get through. And we'll talk about the different types of mutations uh, a little bit later on in the unit. You're talking about an incredibly accurate process. I think your textbook says something like one in a billion of the nucleotides added is going to have a mistake in it, which is pretty incredible. So um, if we were in class, we were going to give you an opportunity to pair up with someone next to you and summarize the role of the two enzymes we've talked about. There are many other enzymes involved in this process. We're just focusing on these two and how they help um, DNA replicate. And then also summarize how the new strands of DNA compare to the original strand um, and that role in mutation. So if you just take a second to think about these two things, jot down some ideas on your notes there, and then start the video again um, after you've had a moment to think about it. So now that you've had a chance to summarize the roles of these different enzymes, we're going to be talking about these as part of our warm-up in class. So be ready to summarize the role of uh, enzymes in DNA replication and compare and, and talk about how mutations can change the, the strand of DNA. We'll use those two questions as our warm-up for next class. And don't forget about GCAT.